April this year, something pretty amazing happened. Nickelodeon's own pop star and tween sensation Jojo Siva exclusively released her new single, Every Girl is a Supergirl, in your view. So welcome, Star Fam! Today, we are meeting our amazing game studio who's gonna show us how they made Jojo Siva's avatar come to life in Star Stable. Let's go! First of all, to make Jojo's avatar, you have to know Jojo. This singer and Nickelodeon Supergirl is known for her positivity, big personality, huge bows, colorful clothes, and of course, some pretty awesome dance moves. So our fantastic heroes at Star Stable headquarters were sent on the mission to make Jojo Siwa perform in Star Stable. And today, I will meet the people who made the story, the bows, and the dance moves possible. Hi! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very good. I'm nice. super <laughs> duper curious. What part did you have in making your Deceiva come to life in the game? Uh, I made the face and the hair and the bow. The important part. The important part, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. To make this happen, where do you start? We start off by getting concept images from the 2D artists. Mm -hmm. And then we, the 3D artists, uh, take these concepts and translate them to 3D art that can be used in the game. Oh wow, so from the beginning it's just like a drawing. Exactly, it's a drawing. Wow. And then we uh, like sculpt it yeah. in 3D. How did you get it to look so much like her? Uh, I, I googled a lot of images <laughs> on Jojo Siva yeah. uh, to get, uh, to like see what makes her face her face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like the angle of her nose and the the, the chin and everything. The details. Yeah, yeah, the details, exactly. And also, very important, her iconic hairstyle. What made you choose this career? Oh, I've, I've always loved to draw, mm. and I've also always loved to play games. Mm. Uh, but I didn't really know if at first there was a career in this. I, I didn't quite realize that, that there are people making games, they just appear. <laughs> but then I figured out that, wow, you can use like your artistic abilities yeah to create the games. I, I love making characters, that's mm -hmm. like my biggest passion. Mm. And just, so every day is, is a good day if I get to, to make a face, yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> I love it. Making faces. Yeah, making faces. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Jojo Siva looks so good. Maybe you can just work your magic and make me look the slightest bit like her. I sure can. <laughs> what? It worked! You're amazing! Told you. So now we have a Jojo Siva avatar. Let's see how she gets her moves on. Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's so good to see you. Nice. Okay. So I was just at 3D modeling. They kind of make the, the shell, and you guys give her the soul, kind of. You can yeah. say that, yeah. We basically set up the skeleton for her, mm -hmm. so she's able to move around. And then we do that, we bring her to life by mm -hmm. dancing, by jumping around, standing in poses. Yeah. So how do you do it? For these dances, we were over in Uppsala and we shot some motion capture with some dancers oh, who were in a big room with like sort of ping pong ball suits on, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of cameras, and we recorded their moves and basically brought them onto Jojo's avatar. So we can see her dancing around here. And, that uh, is so cool. So this is a real person dancing uh, basically, in real life. Yeah. What was your favorite part in doing this project? Um, it was really fun to make the hair flop in the end. Yeah, because that's a detail that's really noticeable, that mm -hmm. her hair is like like in real life, super lively. Basically, the motion capture data just brought on to the avatar that Josephine made. Mm -hmm. So we haven't ha added any facial expressions or simulations on the hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what it just looks like when we brought it in. Mm. And then we need to go through each frame and check, like, oh, for instance, here, her hand goes through the hair, which we don't want. No. So then we can go and tweak that on that particular frame. Oh, look, that's a skeleton. I love that. That's so cool. And basically, 
move it here. I think. <laughs> oh. A bit to the side. Oh. And that frame is moved. Yeah, yeah, basically. So now it should be fixed here on that particular. That so they cool. basically we go around uh, changing stuff that doesn't match our avatar in mm -hmm. the scene. Did you do it your Christine? Like go to YouTube and watch your hair flip? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but mo mostly we, we check, like, try to get the personality of Jojo in there. Like, she's very hype. So it's a lot about, you know, big movements, yeah. pointing. So this is her face, kind of like the big yeah, squares? Yeah, basically face controls to <gasps> change the <laughs> shape. And you can sit around all day, like, make silly faces. But how did you come to work in this area? Why did you choose this career? Uh, I started studying more towards films and movies, but sort of headed off more towards games mm -hmm. and made a sort of career shift mm -hmm. in, into games because I just find the both the part of the visual storytelling but also the interactive medium of it really amazing. Yeah, yeah. And let's talk about the posters because I think those are really cool. How, how did you also have a dancer doing those posters or are those handmade? Those are handmade based off the references we, we looked at Jojo standing mm. and doing poses, basically. Yeah. I can answer so many questions. Awesome. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. You thought we were done. No, no, no. This is not a two-person operation. Let's meet the game designer. Hi, Leila. Hello. How are you? I'm... I'm great. You're great? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you ready to tell me everything? All the secrets. All the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I see you kind of like the goddess of Star Stable. Worship me. <laughs> Could that have more uh, pandas? Like, worship me! True, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but how would you describe your position or your part in this big team that we have here? The designers, uh, the designers really make everything come together. Mm. We're like the director of a movie. We have a vision of where we want the game to go. Mm. We decide what, we're, what is going to happen. And then everyone else in the team creates the parts, and we end up putting them together. Yes. Kind of. It's uh, all about it's all about knowing uh, knowing what pieces fit well together, exactly. and to create a good player experience, mm -hmm. which is the most important thing. Like, what tools do you use when you work? Like, when you come to work, what's your important tools? The most important tool for a designer is actually to start off with pen and paper. Really. Uh, because before you can make something, before you can make something in digitally, you have to know how is this supposed to work. Mm. What we do is, uh, mm. once we have planned everything out, mm. we put it into the editor and we start building it in the game. Mm. At first, there's probably just white boxes, but then the animators will give us characters and objects, and yeah. we can build the entire game from that. So since we're on a development environment, there are several things that we can do that uh, players wouldn't be able to do normally. Mm -hmm. For instance, we can hop wherever we want in the world. That's so convenient! Yeah, sometimes we need to test things that are at vastly different places, and we don't have time to just ride everywhere. Could you imagine if you had to ride everywhere? Oh, wow. <laughs> what was your part of making Jojo Siva's avatar come to life in the game? Uh, as a designer, I was in charge of creating the quests uh, that were related to Jojo. Mm. So when you did the quest where, for the bow hunt, yes. how did you decide what, what bow to place where or find the hiding spot? Most of the decision where to place the bows was just to find fun places mm. around Moorland and Fort Pinta mm. and Nilmesh Highlands. Mm. Uh, there were, there could be little hiding spots that felt like, oh, this is not somewhere where they would ride normally. Mm. But if they're riding around and thinking, there could be a bow over there, I wanted to reward that with uh, making sure that there was a bow avail available. Yeah. Do you have a favorite spot? Um, 
Uh, there was one bow I really liked to place in uh, Fort Pinta. There's one that's uh, in the harbor that's just out of reach mm. uh, from uh, if you're standing on the docks. Yeah. Uh, but you can just uh, force your horse down in the water and swim for a while, and then you can just grab it. Yeah. Uh, I like it because it provides a bit of a challenge. We apparently made a mistake with one bow that was just too far placed up, so you couldn't get it if you couldn't jump. I'm terribly sorry about that. <laughs> It's not intentional. <laughs> what drove you into doing this? I, I grew up playing games, as many others in the office, I'm sure. But uh, I never really realized that you could work with it at first, because it seems so distant. Mm. So I was having a discussion with my job coach, and for some reason we got into talking about games. Mm. And then he just said that, but why aren't you working with games? And I was awestruck. I was like, you can work with games? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the moment I realized that this is possible, mm. nothing is impossible for me. I can reach for the stars and I can go there. I, I love my job. Mm. I, I love being a game designer. This is what I want to do. Yeah. And uh, I, think it's, I think it's great that we have a, we have a fan base that are very, are very vocal about what they think. Mm. So we get to hear from them fairly often. Mm. And uh, it's really fun to hear what they want as well. So everyone who wants to be a game designer, start today, don't give up, and I'd look forward to see what games you'd make. Yes, I'm all so excited, now we're going to pep talk, this is awesome! <laughs> I really want to inspire young people, like yeah. all, the, all the girls that play our game, I want to see, see them in the industry in the future. Since you are in the awesome team that gets to decide everything and gets to predict the future for Star Stable, you know all the secrets. Oh yes. yes, I know everything that's going to happen. So please, what can you tell me about the future? Well, there is a really cool thing upcoming in... Uh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I can guarantee you that is going to happen. We can't wait. This is going to be so amazing! Can you believe all of the hard work, mad skills and teamwork it takes to make the artwork, animations and every little story in the game? So let's all go to Fort Pinta where Jodi Yusiva performs every half an hour and in between that she is ready for a meet and greet with your avatar. Let's go party! Down the earth,